the Skyline. A car that is pangarap ng marami sa atin. Mula kabataan hanggang tumanda tayo. We all craved and long for that car. You know, the GTR. Akala natin na Nissan yan. But from the very start, the Skyline was actually produced by a company called Prince Motor Company back in 1957. And back in 1957, the Prince Skyline was produced as a sedan. Okay, so back in 1964, the GTR, the first GT was built. And then two iterations came out called the GTR and the GTB. Now, the GTR called the Gran Turismo Racing and the GTB, which is the Gran Turismo Berlinetta. You know, why did the Japanese start using Italian names for their cars? This is to boost sales because at that time, Italian car manufacturers such as Ferrari, Lamborghini were very, very well renowned. So, nakikisabay dati. Prince merged with Nissan Datsun later on, which eventually became Nissan. So the Skyline went through five different generations, starting in 1969 as the PGC-10, and then came the KPGC-110, and then the R32, the R33, and the iconic R34. All these cars are truly collectibles right now because of their heritage. And the last version was produced in 2002. So after five generations of the Skyline and the Nissan's iconic race car na pwede rin pang araw-araw, Nissan went on this revival phase, you know? And in the year 2000, they were set to create the world's first, well, not the world's first, but probably the world's affordable sports car. Not really affordable to the point that it's cheap, but affordable to the point that most regular people can afford it and can tune it and something they can call their own. And this was in the year 2000, at that time spearheaded by the embattled CEO, Carlos Ghosn. In 2001, the first prototype was shown to the public and everybody was like, wow. In 2005, the second prototype was shown and in 2007, the first production vehicle was shown at the Tokyo Auto Show. And in 2008, the first model of the Skyline or the Nissan GTR was actually sold to the public. Now from 2000, I would say 2007 all the way to 2023, it went through about two different facelifts. And it went through a modest change every so often, you know, from 2008 to 2009, 10, 11. It kept on going up about two horsepower, five horsepower. So it started out at 446 horsepower with the last version of, I would say, the point two being at 562 horsepower. So it just tells you that Nissan before it creates or sets out to create a vehicle that would outperform everything, they make sure that they get feedback from the previous vehicles that were already sold. And I think the dealer network and the service network counts a lot, especially from feedback. You know? So over the years, from 446 horsepower, using the same V6 3.8 liter twin turbo engine, they kept on upgrading and upgrading, built in the same factory by skilled workers. As a matter of fact, to be able to build a skyline, you have to be a specialized builder from Nissan. So they only have like 100 people, I, I think, huh? don't quote me. I think they only have 100 people at Nissan that can build these cars, the engines. So we will see later on how special these engines are because the person who actually did the assembly, his name is on the engine. So, bawat kotse iba iba pangalan yan. Or, you might luck out and you have two generations of cars with the same person who built it. 
or you can probably request it. But now we have the 2024 Nissan GTR. Now, what's the big difference between the previous generation, previous iteration, and this generation? You can see the grille is more aggressive, the front fascia, the aerodynamics are more aggressive. It comes with raised lightweight wheels. I believe they're 20 inch wheels in front and the rear. And you have Brembo brakes, 15 inch rotors, cross drilled rotors from Brembo, which is a joint between Nissan and uh, Brembo. No? This is the premium model. Now they also have what they call a Nismo edition, which is right around 590 horsepower and you have the T-Spec, which is the highest level. As you can see in this video, when we visited the Nissan headquarters in Japan, we saw the T-Spec naked at the headquarters. No? So this is the T-Spec, which clocks right around 600 horsepower. So based on what Nissan has told us, this is the best GTR ever built in terms of tuning, in terms of software, in terms of materials. So everything is laid out perfectly. As you can see, the car is the same exact body as the, old, uh, the older iteration. But they made a lot of adjustments in terms of the fins, the side skirts. And what I've noticed is their extensive use of carbon fiber and premium leather. The last GTR was not as, I would say not as luxurious, which is not saying a lot because the GTR is pretty much a minimalist, no? But definitely driving this around for the last few days was a pure, was pure bliss because this is one of the few sports cars I think that somebody can drive every day na wala kang takot na mag-overheat, na pumalya, or magka-problema because, number one, it's a Nissan, right? So, let's go around the back. No changes on the taillight, but notice there's a brake light in the bottom. Well, it has a more aggressive rear with burnt tips on the tailpipes. So it gives it a more, I would say, authentic uh, JDM look, di ba? Kasi halos lahat ng mga nakikita natin ng mga JDM cars, sunog yung tips eh. So, sinunog na ng Nissan para sa inyo. Blue na siya. The trunk, what I love about it is you cannot fit a golf club. So you have to put it inside the cab. But it has enough space for a sports car. You can actually go on a trip, just the two of you, with two pieces of luggage overnight for, for the weekend, na wala kayong problema. I love the way the wing just sits on both edges of the body. It hugs the hips of the car, and it gives you that massive, macho, and sleek look na you know the car means business so enough about the outside of the car because there's not that much difference i know everybody's so concerned about the price because it went from eight plus million i think or seven million something all the way to 12, 12 million what justifies the price difference? I think one of the things that justifies the price difference is a lot of the, a lot of the things that Nissan has learned throughout the years from the last two iterations of the R35, they poured in the technology on this puppy. And we're not sure if it's the last one that they're gonna produce, but based on what they said, based on what Nissan has told me when we were in Japan, this is the best. And this is just the premium model, guys. Ah. Meron, pang, meron pang isang, tawag dito, meron pang isang Nismo, and there's a T-Spec. I'm not sure if they're gonna offer those two models here in the Philippines, but this is the best GTR 
that was built. And based on how I've driven it the last few days, it probably is. Now for the engine, guys and girls, I'm not a big technical guy, so you're not gonna get a lot of technical mumbo jumbo from me. But what makes this car so special is the name of the person who hand built this engine. It's engraved right in the middle as soon as you open it up. So that's what I think, that's what makes the car very special. All right guys, so you guys know very well that pinaka asar ko is a maduming koche. Using this Karcher K5, one of the best pressure washers in the market. This is one of the ones that I've used. It's so easy to use. Comes with an eight foot hose. Comes with a soap car wash dispenser. Adjustable nozzle up to 145 bar. So this is probably one of the best ones that we've used so far. So thanks very much, Karcher. King Panda approved. Okay guys, so let, let's take this car on a test drive since that's the best part of this review. Inside a uh, 2024 Nissan GTR. Um, we're lucky enough to have it uh, lent to us by Nissan. No? Um, I was so excited to get this car because Una Una, it's Christmas break, so we get to uh, play with it. And secondly, I haven't had the chance to drive the previous generation GTRs the way I'm driving this now kasi yung namaneho ko dati na ikot ko lang eh so this one we get to take it on its paces along EDSA so as you guys can see ang dami natin camera thank you Insta360 you know the 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 great thing about this uh, this GTR is maraming sports cars na you know I would say maraming sports cars na talagang high performance um, you know for example the GT3 RS you know which is a track car the Porsches even the 911s you know, your Lamborghinis, your Ferraris. Yeah. The thing I like about this GTR is number one, hindi siya ganun kababa. So, well, except sa North Green Hills, dun sa, sa village namin, talagang, I think yung mga uh, ibang members ng board galit sa kotse. So, talagang tinataasan nila yung hubs, ano? Pero, I'm really happy with this car because I've been driving it since the 21st and it's a car that you can actually drive every day and you get the high performance feel it's very tight it's very um, it, it's roomy for the purposes of what it was built you know? um, it's, uh, I mean, it's a GTR so doon ka mabibilib sa kanya Yung, yung room niya for a sports car it's not to the point na nakakainis um, the Ferrari guys the F8 it's, it's, it's wide na but it's still tight for me you know but um, the handling of the car kita mo dito tayo sa EDSA and it's very bumpy. Alam mo naman kalsada dito sa Manila, no? And it's still comfortable. Although, although I put it on comfort mode, no? We're gonna go, we're gonna go hit the skyway in a little bit para makita nyo guys kung paano natin ma mabigyan ng konti ng acceleration. Kasi, 
hindi talaga tayo makahatong masyado dito sa sa Etsa, no? Maraming poche. I mean, it's the 26th of December. Everybody's gonna go out shopping with me and Conte. Um, for the guys that uh, are following us on Facebook, Mamaya ang konti. Uh, siguro mga 10 minutes, magdi-disconnect siya. I'll reconnect it later on, no? Uh, if it disconnects. So, I'm gonna have you guys join me while I film. Kita nyo naman, we have Insta360, Insta, Insta. So, we're using a full Insta360 Insta setup on this, uh, on this rig. This is what we've been using lately, uh, except for the exterior shots. For the exterior shots, we've been using iPhone 14s and iPhone 13 Pros. The note, the exhaust note, you know, it's just... Ang ganda. And the handling is, uh, is very tight. He's a very responsive siya. Um, I've seen some reviews in the US na ang complain nila sa previous generation para karo naglalaro ng PlayStation. Uh, you don't get uh, you don't get the, the response that you get for, uh, from European vehicles. Ano. Um, I think this is very Euro um, in terms of its feel. Although the acceleration, the transmission, you know, it has the four-wheel drive system, which is very, very helpful, especially with acceleration and handling. Especially with acceleration and handling, I know. And it has an intelligent way of um, communicating and trans... Uh, transferring power from the front and the rear kung saan niya mas kailangan ganda, ganda tumakbo it's uh, really impressed uh, you know, just imagine when we open it up The car is amazing. Um, impressive, you know. Very smooth. Acceleration is is not is not jerky, you know. Although, hindi tayo naka R mode, so we'll put it on R mode. Huh? guys you know I, I mean I'm not sure how the other cars from point one and point two na R35 performs but Definitely drivable and at the same time it's very very smooth Hindi siya, you know the, the the issue I have with a lot of sports cars is they, they're merely what they are they're sports cars now so a, a problem go with a lot of 
the other sports cars like the Italians, the, the German cars, you know, they're not, you know, except the Porsches, you know, when you go with the, with the, with the 911, the Carrera 4s, Carrera 2s, you know, even the Turbo all the way up to a Turbo S, you know, it's drivable every day. Okay lang. Kasi yung suspension medyo okay. Pero ito talagang hindi matagtag. It's it performs like like a real what a real sports car is supposed to do. Um, the acceleration is is guys it's insane. It 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 has a you know slower build up. It's not not as jerky as a lot of uh, like you know the Lambo kasi. You know, although you can't really compare, no? I mean, it's, it's a Lambo. Um, first of all, I don't like the seating position on a Lambo. Para na kayo ka. Para ka na kayo ka. And this one, you're seated perfectly. The seat is just perfect. It hugs your back. Um, pati yung quick ko, hindi nakalabas because sometimes pag sobrang sikip ano nakalabas siya eh, nakakainis but this one it, you know it, it hugs you perfectly it doesn't throw you left and right although you know obviously it's different on the track you know I'm sure it's gonna behave totally differently on the track but ang ganda it's I'm totally impressed totally impressed Now, you know, a lot of people are concerned though in Presho from 9 million. Because initially, when Nissan started selling the uh, the GTR, they started off at, uh, I believe it was around uh, 7 or 8 million, you know. And now they bumped it up to like 12. And a lot of, you know, I've, I've been reading a lot of comments online. Uh, people are asking, you know, ano ba talaga ang pinakaiba? Anong binago? I mean, I, I, I honestly can't tell you because, like I said, I've never really driven the older generation ones, ano? so hindi ko alam. But, <coughs> all I can do is compare to cars within this price range. You know, like, uh, I mean, the Lotus Emira, and you can compare it to that. Um, you can compare it to a Corvette, you know, a Chevrolet Corvette, a C8. You can probably compare it to the Lambos, you know, the higher price range. But if you stick within the same price range, you know, I, I choose this car better because of its room. Lucky. You know, I can actually fit my golf set in the back, although you can't fit it in the trunk because it's too small. But you know, pwede mo pang pang grocery because, you know, tama lang. I mean, depende kung saan ka pupunta. If you go to SNR, it's gonna be a little harder. Especially kung kasama mo si Queen Panda. Uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> you know. Um, so, in, in terms of, uh, in terms of, uh, Drivability, guys, it's it's uh, perfect. Itong kotse. Galing. Um, the the interior is a bit outdated, though. That's what I can say. Uh, but their extensive use of leather um, is 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 something to be applauded. Uh, they've uh, they've done very well. Uh, the interior is definitely it needs upgrading. Um, it, it's an older generation, but but the funny thing about Nissan is they're not the type of company that changes things a lot. If you notice the first, the point one and the point two, from 2009 all the way to 2017, if you looked at the, the horsepower on the engine, you're gonna notice quite. Nissan, when they come out with something, they gradually increase and enhance the performance of the car. And 
I'm assuming this is based on feedback uh, nakukuha nila sa service uh, sa mga clients you know, th these are things that they, they, they factor in so that when they actually upgrade the vehicle it's not to the point na nakukompromiso yung durability ng kotse ako lang ha, I think that's, that's what that's what I think in terms of what they what Nissan has in mind pero you know they don't change things that work you know if, the thing, if, if it works then it works then if it doesn't work then they, they, they change it you know but hindi sila mahilig magpalit palit diba ng mga bagay bagay the exterior styling of the car is, is great um, it really stuck to its core although the next generation I'm not sure anong gagawin nila but based on the design cues of what we saw in the Tokyo Auto Show uh, Tokyo Mobility Show you know it's going to be a very exciting time for uh, I, I think for Nissan so the, the steering wheel guys you know it, it's uh, guys and girls it's it's uh, it's it's nice it's you know um, plastic yung paddle shifter niya I was I was expecting it to be metal but it's plastic I guess merong mga aftermarket you, you know the great thing about this GTR guys is ang daming pyesa nito so you know if you're one of those guys na you know you don't have to have the latest the GTR you can buy an older one although the problem is ang taasa ng presyo dati you can get one yeah, you can get like a 2009 2010 for as low as like you know, four million, three and a half, I think. At some, at one point, you know, as among three and a half million na lang siya. But uh, now, um, I've seen them go up to like five million pesos na because this new GTR went up to twelve point something million. So, you know, sa akin, you know, the the question people ask is, is it worth buying? You know, worth it ba? Kung meron ba akong pang tapon na 12 million or if I have the budget for 12 point something million pesos, um, would I spend it on a GTR and as opposed to buy another vehicle like, a, you know, a, a used, say, you can get like a 997 na eh, at, this, at that price point, you know? Sa akin, guys, it's, it's, it's a matter of how much of an enthusiast ka ba? Diba? Um, meron mga tao na hanggang ngayon bumibili pa rin ng mga lumang Lancer, lumang, lumang Corolla. You know, even if yung presyo hindi na makatarungan. Bakit? It's because yan ang, yan ang hilig nila eh. That's what they're enthusiastic about. That's their thing. And para sa akin, there's really no right and wrong because pagdating sa ganyan it's what makes you happy it what gives you that uh, that that feeling in the morning na puta lalabas ako dala ko yung whatever car that you bought ano dala ko happy ako diyan di ba so it, it's whatever makes you happy you know there's no right or wrong kasi you know, I get a lot of people na nagre-review ng kotse. Oh, okay, sa bibili ka niyan, ito ang bilhin mo, ito ang bilhin mo. Guys, there's no such thing as that. Eh. It's it's what makes you happy. At the end of the day, kaya tayo nagtatrabaho, kaya tayo nagpapakahirap. You know, when we were growing up, you know, when I was growing up, you know, sabi ng dad ko, ang, ang, ang responsibilidad lang talaga ng magulang is palakihin ka ng tama at paaralin ka at, at make sure na set up ka ng tama ngayon yung luho mo yung mga pursuits mo yung mga passion mo hindi na nila problema yun you know it's not the parents uh, responsibility to buy you a car it's not it's that's a luxury you know that's a privilege so you know growing up lagi akong nag-iisip you know, what car should I buy when I get older and the thing is as you get older 
you know, as you go through life and you go through these cars, you know, yung pagkaatat mo nawawala. You know, um, when you get to the point na ma-afford mo na yung kotse, nawawala yung nostalgia niya eh. Kasi, you know, human nature talaga yan na, it's human nature that we we tend to we tend to want something we cannot have it. Eh. You know, dun yung yung drive, yun yung yun yung uh, atat, you know. Um, hello to our guys, our friends sa uh, Atat Motorcycle Club. <laughs> so sila po sa Omi, sa JV, no? Um, you know, that, that's the thing is we can afford cars that I you know that that, that that there's a certain point in life but once umabot ka na ron parang iisipin mo na hindi na lang like that's why I love what I do and guys you know I can't be thankful enough you know we have you guys on our, our channel you know watching watching and lagi nagtatangkiling um, once in a while nasa sermon ko kasi yung iba talaga makukulit but you know, it 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 really it really makes me makes me feel fulfilled. You know now, you know now we have like a hundred, a hundred, you know, hundred twenty three. Kanina we have over two hundred, eh, but we had to. Uh, yan ang problem ng ng Ray Ban Meta. After about 17, 15, 10 to fifteen minutes, it cuts off. I think it's something to do with connectivity. It's a Facebook that they haven't really figured out yet. Um, it it uh, it eliminates the no, nawawala siya. Kaya minsan when I'm talking in a review, biglang mawawala. So we had to uh, we had to uh, knock it down to less than ten minutes. But you know, going back to the cars, you know, we have we have cars that we love. You know, growing up and. The thing is, once you get to that level, you want to buy it. Sometimes you want to buy it. Sometimes you want to buy it. You want something better, and that's 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 life. That's just how it works, and that's what keeps us going, de ba? You know, kung kung ayon ang 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 ambition mo sa buhay is fortuner. You know, once you get to the level, you want to buy a fortuner, land cruiser na yung gusto mo, kasi you know. Kaya mo nang bilhin yung Fortuner eh. So, hindi, hindi mo na ako magpapalit ng kotse. Mag-iipon mo na ako hanggang makabili ako ng Land Cruiser. Then, pag naka-Land Cruiser ka na, you know, may, gusto mo naman Lexus. O kaya gusto mo ng G-Wagon, di ba? So, it, it, it's what keeps us, you know, it's what keeps us uh, going. What makes us uh, strive for uh, greatness and gusto natin kumita but you know sometimes nalilihis yung gusto natin kumita nagagawa sa maling paraan but so so guys just do it slowly you know, that's what I that's what I always uh, tell friends I mean I've, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life and I rush things a lot when I was younger but now you tend to appreciate you know where you are yeah, you know, be thankful. Be thankful for what you have. Uh, be grateful for what you have while you're working towards what you want. Uh, because hindi na malat makukuha mo kagad eh, diba? But so it on GTR guys, you know, is it like I said, you know, to cut a long story short, is it worth it? Um if I was a GTR fanatic and if I was I would probably buy GTRs all the way from the Skyline, the Prince, you know, the R, you know, and especially the R32, 33, and 34. Those are very coveted vehicles. Um, I, I, I'd buy this car in a heartbeat if I was a, a, a GTR fan. But ako, equal opportunity car fanatic ako eh. You know, I love SUVs, I love sports cars, but I, I just don't like uncomfortable cars. Uh, you get to a point, I am 50 years old, guys, 
And uh, once you get to my age, ayaw mo na ng hassle sa buhay. Ayaw mo na ng uncomfortable. You know, so, so anyway, this is probably one of the best uh, cars I've, I've uh, driven so far, especially in the streets of Manila. Sports car wise, uh, na medyo full size. Uh, the Emira is also a great car, but it only comes in, it only comes in manual. Eh. So there are times na nakakainis na mag manual. Pero itong GTR, ang sarap. Ang sarap tumakbo. Very impressed. I haven't seen any quirks. Wala pa naman siyang quirks that would annoy me, you know. Um, I've driven this to traffic. And like I said a while ago, the thing I love about this car is the fact that it's drivable every day. You know. Pero if you want it to scare you, it can scare you. The exhaust, you know, um, another thing that uh, I think it needs a little improvement. Although hindi ko makita, I think meron siyang, meron siyang button for opening up the valve on the exhaust. Although I could not find it, you know. Uh, I don't know where it is. I couldn't find it. But if it does, okay na siya. Problema, hindi ko mahanap eh. Um, I need a little bit more growl in terms of uh, the exhaust para hindi na gumasto sa exhaust because, you know, number one, mahala yung kotse. Um, I love the I love the touch on the burn tips on the exhaust, the bluing of the exhaust. Ang ganda na niya, yung titanium exhaust. So, ang ganda na na forma niya. The rear diffuser is perfect. It has a very aggressive look. Uh, so, if it does not have a valve for the exhaust sound, which is my mistake, if it does and I didn't find it, I should have gone to YouTube and looked for it. But uh, if it does, okay na siya. But if it doesn't, that would be a good addition. That would be a good addition to to have. Grabe, ang ganda, ang ganda tumak. can I say about this car other than the fact that uh, it's it's an absolutely amazing car um, I think it'll do well for the price point it's definitely a car that an enthusiast a real enthusiast would, would buy although marami namang marami nang um, pre-owned na nasa Kalsada na tumatakbo na for sale, you know? But I think there's very limited production, as you guys can see. Every engine is uh, handcrafted by one specialist over at Nissan that can build these engines, you know. They're, they're certified. They're they're not they're not just the regular guys off the floor. Um, 
and they're going to be these cars are going to be built in in a very limited uh, quantity so the price point is warranted for that na since konti lang ilalabas nila um, it's significantly higher than it was before it's not a full production vehicle like it was before but this is this is definite, definitely one of those icons that um, that will stand the test of time um, when we were growing up with cars maraming kotse na lumabas dati na became iconic after you know perfect example is yung competition nila Supra you know that uh, when it, Supra first came out it wasn't like you know, it wasn't like uh, pinag-aagawan I mean the LFA was the same thing although they Although Toyota really built it for the purposes of becoming an amazing car, a supercar, um, with the extensive use of carbon fiber, uh, it wasn't the reception, um, wasn't the way that they expected it to be. This car is different. This car already knows that it's a legend. So the price point of the vehicle, the grabe, the steering is so tight, and so responsive. Ganda, impressive, impressive, talaga. Um, yeah, no, I, I just love, I just, I love the rawness of yung, <laughs> yung, yung rawness ng engine niya. Um, and then the way the transmission responds it's it's like hmm it's like a symphony you know it's like a quartet yeah when it engages pag tinapakan mo siya and it engages yeah no it ganda 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 So anyway, uh, going back, uh, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, you know, this is our first review for the year. Actually, we were filming this the last week of uh, the last week of December. Um, I'm very thankful for our supporters, for our people, our, our 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 friends. You know, this year we reached over a hundred thousand subscribers on our YouTube channel. The next phase is 500,000, which is grabe, uh, a milestone na naman. So we have to work on that a lot. And uh, I, I'm, I'm really blessed. Well, Queen Panda and I are very thankful and blessed to have uh, the type of viewership that we have. And we really appreciate the support. Uh, both on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and all our platforms now. We're also on TikTok as well. We've, uh, we've really engaged on TikTok. Uh, we have over 100,000... Uh, we have over 100,000 uh, viewers on our TikTok now. So, guys, thank you very much for your support and expect better and better things to come in 2024. Thank you guys and girls. If you guys are looking for the best non-armored and armored vehicles and the best after-sales service, look no further. Come to Luxury Cars Manila. You can visit our website www.luxurycarsmanila.com.ph You can also download our app on Android and iOS Luxury Cars Manila. I'll see you soon.